If you have a new iPad or an iPhone and you want to play some Facebook games, you probably aren't able to because Apple doesn't support Flash on the iPad. But iSwifter is going to show me a way to play those games without even having Flash on the machine. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm Rajat Gupta, and I'm one of the co-founders of this hottest little startup in the valley called iSwifter. We are a cloud-based platform. Uh, we, are, we are, in fact, the world's first cloud-based flash game streaming platform built specifically for mobile devices. So how do you do the magic? Because uh, Flash isn't supported on the iPad. Steve Jobs doesn't like it. Right. And so how do you get uh, the Flash gaming content to show up there? Essentially, you know, we have servers that uh, fire up in the cloud and uh, they do all the heavy lifting in terms of processing Flash. We convert Flash uh, to a pretty optimized video stream, which we send down to the device. Yeah. And we handle all the game interactions and all of that. So the Flash is running server side and it's just pushing the video of that over to the display surface here. Exactly. You know, it's a, you know simply put, that's really how it works. It's pretty cool. Uh, I love technology stories. Uh, how, how do you guys get paid in this weird world? We, we have an app. It's called iSwifter. It's available in App Store. And it's uh, freely available. It's free to download. Users get uh, 30 minutes of free trial time. And you know they can try out a few different games. And uh, actually, it's positioned as an open browser. So they can pretty much try out anything, any, any website they like. And at the end of 30 minutes, if they like the app, uh, they can opt to pay a one-time four ninety-nine fee. Okay, and that gives you unlimited gaming on Facebook or or whatever uh, app store right. you want to play a, a right. flash-based game. Right. How good is it? Uh, you know, does it play every game? And if it doesn't, what do, what happens when it doesn't? Yeah. So uh, you know, as as part of the uh, platform that we built, Robert, uh, we automatically in real time kind of uh, translate multi-touch gestures, the kinds that are found on mobile devices, into uh, keyboard and mouse uh, desktop style gestures that originally these games were written for. Yeah. So you know, it's uh, like pretty much everything else in the world, it's kind of like an 80-20 rule. So Facebook has over 3,000 apps. Uh, you know, so I'd say about 80% of the games would work really well. There may be uh, a few games that uh, you know, the app is not completely optimized for. But uh, I'd say, you know, for the vast majority, uh, certainly the most popular games, you know, like the ones from Zynga and Crowdstar and a bunch of others, you know, very playable. Yeah. How's, how's the speed and, uh, and responsiveness? I mean, Angry Birds is one thing, you know, because yeah. you just have to throw a sprite right. through the air, right. a, you know, an Angry Bird. Yeah. Uh, some games are much more involved and have much more going on on them. Uh, that's, a, that's a great question, Robert. Uh, you know, as far as this, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of IP that we built into our cloud platform, and we can leverage that in different ways in terms of different apps. As far as this iSwifter app goes, it's optimized for social gaming. You know, the kind you find on uh, Facebook, which is basically, you know, point and click. And uh, So it may not be the best app for first-person shooter type games. So you don't want to be playing Halo if Halo were hosted. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, you know, it, it does really well with social games. Yeah, Zynga's Farmville or Cityville or something like that. Oh, absolutely. And that's most of what people are playing now. Yeah. Uh, tell me about some of the fundamentals of the company. How are you guys funded and uh, where do you think things are going to go from, from here? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, the, the company started as an incubated project at uh, a technology incubator called UWeb. It's probably uh, the Valley's best kept secret. Uh, it's, it's very exclusive, but it's a billion dollar incubator with offices here in the Valley in New York. I joined the incubator in uh, February of last year. And uh, so we've taken very little seed funding from UWeb and, and some UWeb investors. And January of this year, you know, we saw a lot of product traction and we spun the company out. Yeah. So since then, uh, we've done pretty well. Our revenues for this year are going to be north of 10 million. We are, uh, uh, we are about 12 people strong at the moment. We're looking for lots of bright rock stars to join our team, and we are scaling pretty aggressively. 
Yeah, and it seems like Apple's going to be a big market for a, a long time to come. I, I would expect they're going to sell a lot more iPads next year than they sold this year, right? Uh, absolutely. You know, if you look at how the iPad traction's picked up, it's, it's actually faster than the first iPhone when, when it rolled out. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there, there seem to be a lot of worthy competitors, certainly outside of iOS as well. Uh, but, you know, at least for the moment, tablets equals iPads. Yeah. You know, at least that's my view. Is there any sort of developer API play here? Is there anything another developer could do to embed maybe your uh, your browser into their app so that they don't have to worry about Flash and they can do something fun? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. So, you know, the iSwifter app that's available on App Store is, is kind of like a one-size-fits-all. You know, we've positioned it as a browser, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, most of the IPs in the cloud platform we built. So certainly a developer... Uh, you know, one of the beauty, uh, the, 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 the value proposition for developers with our platform is that they don't need to do any reinvestment. So if yeah. they don't need to redevelop, they don't need to write code again, they don't need to know iOS at all. And uh, we can literally take them onto the iPad overnight. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, you know, de interested developers could reach out to us. We could certainly package it a different way and, you know, brand it and uh, make the UI look like it's a tightly packaged app specific to their game. Interesting. So, so can you take me through uh, what it looks like to an end user once they download this app, you know, sort of yeah. uh, tell me, is, show me what's, what's available to them and how they find their favorite, you know, Zynga mm -hmm. game or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I just fired the app up and, uh, you know, to start off with, there are a couple of options. Uh, you know, the focus is gaming, yep. but you'll see there's some content down here that's outside of gaming as well. So for example, there's TechCrunch TV and Howcast, and these are flash video sites. Yep. So also there's an open address bar, so people can actually go and use this for other flash-based interactive applications. Got it. Right. Let's, uh, let, me, let me go with Facebook. And you have Google Plus games and Facebook games. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, our view of the world is let the user figure out what their favorite place to play games is. Yeah. Let me pick a city game. Cityville is pretty popular these days. Okay. But... Uh, oh, or I play really... a game that you're into. I, I don't play very many games. <coughs> you, my wife's the, more the one to play games. She plays is all sorts of the crossword puzzle kinds of games. But. I see. So, you know, <clears throat> this this page is going to be familiar to you. It's just the Facebook login page. Yep. So I'm going to log in here <clears throat> with my credentials. Okay. And there you go. It's asking me for permissions to install the game. Yep. I'm going to let it do that. And uh, let me make sure I got audio here. Okay. All right. So it says purchase. Uh, I'm going to purchase it later. Okay. There you go. It's a Flash game, City Well, on the on the iPad. And so you can you can pinch it and zoom in and do all the usual stuff you play, you do on a uh, on a game if it was on your tablet. Yes, and uh, I'm going to put it in full screen mode so I can play better. There you go. <clears throat> Great. And uh, yeah, you know, so everything is. I, I'm not super familiar with the game, but. Uh, you can just tap and point and click and do whatever it... Uh, and you can zoom in and move things around the screen and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so we, well, you can't really zoom zoom into the game. You can put it in full screen mode, though, if the game supports it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, here's an example. Let's see. Okay. And uh, grow your population, click build to yeah. build my house. And... Uh, Select this house and place it here. There you go. It looks very cool, and it, it, it the technology works just like advertised. So I see everything yeah. the way it, it looks like on my uh, Macintosh or on my Windows computers. Right. Uh, the app itself is uh, positioned as an open browser, so you know certainly it's more focused towards social gaming right now. But there's tons of uh, Flash-based content out there. Uh, you know, over the last decade or so. This million strong developer ecosystem has built hundreds of thousands of apps, even outside of gaming. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, this app does go around uh, wall gardens and uh, uh, bring a lot of value to that ecosystem. Very cool. So where do I learn more about this? Uh, you know, you can uh, go to our website if you want to learn more about the company uh, in itself. 
And what um, is the site name? It's www.iswifter.net. Uh, you know, our, our uh, social media presence is still, we are, we are a very young company, we are still building it up. But, uh, you know, you can certainly look up the app on App Store. It's mm -hmm. available there with a nice description. Uh, give us a five-star review if you like the app. And uh, uh, pretty soon we'll have a, a you know, there, there are a number of forums, independent forums on YouTube, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, where people, uh, you know, our user base loves what we are doing. And they independently, they've started forums around iSwifter and they're discussing and they keep discovering new use cases for iSwifter. Uh, but, you know, our official channels are going to open up pretty quick, uh, pretty soon now on Twitter as well as Facebook. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you. coming Thanks in for and showing it to me. Yeah.